it's early morning, it's like 25 past 7. Let's do another rocking workout with the stretching band. And um, we've got a busy day today, we're on Borealis cruise ship Fred Olsen. And it's our last concert, the third concert of the cruise. And it's also the last um, halt of the cruise. So we want to get off the ship and we're leaving at like 2.30. So I'm going to show you what we're up to um, all throughout the day. Well, this is our cabin and me leaving the cabin. And we still had to wear masks at that point because it was just after COVID. Um, but cruise ships are really well set up for that kind of thing anyway, because you always had to like sanitize your hands before you went to breakfast. And if you didn't sanitize your hands before you get on the ship, they will call you back and ask you to do it. There were loads of people around this morning because we had to leave the port at 2.30. So they want to make sure they get the most out of their last port. And I met some friends at breakfast who didn't want to be filmed. So I didn't film, but Meryl filmed hers. Breakfast on the cruise ship. Normally just an apple, the banana, it's for later. Um, that's definitely not what I have for breakfast, but uh, next I am going to get a coffee and the coffee staff are really lovely and they work really, really hard. Anyone who serves you on um, cruise ships works really, really long hours and they're really friendly. How are you this morning, Mary? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Have you been to first? I've had my breakfast, yeah. They are working like 12 hour days with no days off in our whole contract. Are you able to get off or do you have to stay on at the moment? Yeah, yeah, we do allow to get off today. Yeah. The people, they have the full work vaccination. Oh, okay. However, they've only got like two hours off in the afternoon. It's early, early, 2.30, right? Yes, early. Yeah, early. no time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Better for sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, because you're working hard. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, cool. Thanks. 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 Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Well, a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your entertainment manager, Tim, welcoming you to the port of La Coruña in Hello. Spain. Um, it is Saturday, the 16th of October. No, no, it's okay. Thanks. The time has just gone at 8 a.m. This was the Neptune Theatre where we did all of our concerts. They were always at 4:30 p.m. on a sea day, um, which means that when you were in a port, you always just had the whole day free to go out and see whatever you like. And because we have passenger status and not crew status anymore, we're not allowed to go like in the crew areas. So ideally we'd want to go through a back door into the dressing room to do practice, but because of health and safety, um, we have to go through the stage and through the passenger areas. So this is like backstage where all the equipment is kept, all the stuff for shows and um, microphones, sound equipment, and just down this little passageway there's a piano where Meryl used to practice and I think that's where like bands people keep their stuff as well and now we're going to the dressing room which is where I practiced and all the dancers there's like a dance team that's on there for like six months or seven months in a row and they each have their own space in there their own mirror so they they decorate it to make it feel kind of like home well i'm in the dressing room now and i'm just going to do some practice and i think meryl's practicing somewhere else here we are backstage practicing at like what it's 9 30 now so i started at about 8 30 bit late today. Normally it's eight. Here we go. Whee! This is the only place that I can really practice on the ship, apart from the cabin, but I don't want to practice there too much in case it's annoying. So I've done my practice and I'm gonna go and give Dave a phone call now. This is like service station for sealant. It's very grey and a bit industrial looking. But the lady who did the port talk said that it's nice here. It's good, it's really good weather for a run because it's basically cold. The temperature outside is 13 degrees with a strong chance of rain throughout the morning.
most cruise ships, there's one of these rooms at the top of the ship, which is like a bar with panoramic views of the surroundings. And there's often a piano in there and Meryl gets to practice there. And she was just doing a bit of practice before we went on our run. Since this was happening just after COVID, uh, we had to have a temperature check as we left the ship because uh, they wouldn't let you go outside if you had COVID. That's my cruise card. And when you're on a cruise ship, you have to put the passengers first all the time. Even when you're not working, you're considered to be working. So um, Meryl's doing a really good job here of waiting for other people to get on before she walks past. That's Borealis. Hello. <laughs> We're just going for a run in Akarania. You can keep quite healthy on a cruise ship, actually. Um, although the first time I went, well, I ate absolutely loads of food in the buffet, but there are really healthy options available as well. And you can use the gym. Um, and running is a really nice way to see the ports. It's very hot because it's actually cold, but it's hot because we ran faster, I think, because oh, we need yes. to get back to the ship. Yes. Meryl wants to go back really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl does. So what have you been doing this morning, Meryl? Well, I've been doing, I did yeah. my stretches on the deck in the rain, but yeah. <laughs> and then I did my practice, and then I made some videos for Mary's vlog, and then I did my weight workout in the gym. Oh, I've had some fruit. Fruit, yes. <laughs> Ooh. multiple teas. <laughs> okay, and we've won 25 minutes because I'm doing the couch to 5k. Yeah. So this is our cabin again, and it's actually quite a nice cabin because it's got a natural window versus a porthole. Um, and it's got a sofa, depends on what ship you're on, but sometimes you can get given um, bunk beds and you don't have a sofa and you don't have a window. We haven't found the order as well. No. We can maybe do that after. Yeah. <laughs> So we usually practice in the cabin in the afternoons because although we're in a passenger room, actually it's crew around us and people don't get up as early as we do normally because people are often working on cruise ships till like midnight. So if you want to have any kind of social life with people that are working on the ship, that starts at midnight. So you're not going to be getting up early in the morning. It's really good that they provide a keyboard there were a few issues with this particular keyboard. <laughs> we are in the dressing room and Meryl's doing her words. She can say, don't know, my homework. Mm. So, got to practice now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Well, a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Neptune Theatre for our afternoon classical concert. Now, you may have seen these lovely ladies earlier in their cruise with their other performances, but they're back with a brand new show. So please give a warm welcome to Mary and Meryl. For coming to our uh, third concert, our last concert. Uh, this is a program which uh, contains pieces that have a story or a picture or an image. The other day someone learnt to horse ride for their girlfriend because she's really into horse riding he did it in secret and then I went into a field and um, with the lady who works at the stables with my violin and then as they horse horse rode by I popped out with a cameraman as well and um, he proposed <laughs> so that's my job <laughs> something about myself. Um, as Mary mentioned, I think in the first concert, um, I'm Dutch, you might have noticed by my accent. <laughs> 
my latest choir that I started leading is um, the South London Military Wives Choir. And then the other choir that I lead is the London's Transport Choir. And this is a, a workplace choir and anyone, so anyone who works for TfL or the railway, they can join. They love talking about trains, for sure. <laughs> they do! Well, thanks for watching. That's pretty much it for this cruise vlog because the rest of the day we were just packing and waiting to go home. So I'm going to leave you with some footage of stuff that happened on the other days. Bye.